Bill Gates, Bill Ackman, and Warren Buffett and talk about the exact stocks that they're buying and the exact stocks that they're selling. And if you hang on until the end of this video, I'm going to be talking about the cash position of Warren Buffett and what I think it means for us in the future. So let's hop on this uh, computer here and take a look. So as we take a look on the computer, this first portfolio, as you can see here, is Bill and Melinda Gates. This is a uh, portfolio that was updated as of the 14th of August. And uh, they have probably the least problematic portfolio in terms of changes. They didn't spend a lot of time changing much in terms of their portfolio, and Bill Gates hasn't changed much at all. But I, what I thought was interesting was Berkshire Hathaway, of course, Warren Buffett. They added 42, almost 43% to this position in this last quarter. They only reduced their position by 4% on Microsoft, but they added, again, 42% to their position of Berkshire Hathaway. Now, when I click into Berkshire Hathaway, you can see the activity of the last quarter here. A lot of ads on this website, I apologize. You can see the activity of this last quarter's here. Tons of activity. Boom, 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 boom. All these people have purchased, and then only a few have actually reduced position size in Berkshire Hathaway. You can see this is a stark difference from Q1 of, uh, of this year. This is a big difference from Q4 of last year. It's a big difference of Q3 of last year. This is showing you a lot of people have been on the sidelines not adding anything to Berkshire Hathaway, and then this quarter, Q2, they really started to get aggressive. So the only two changes from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation Trust portfolio is, of course, Microsoft, which is a slight reduction in position size. It still stands as over 32% of their position of their portfolio. And then, of course, Berkshire Hathaway, still 21% worth in their portfolio, and they added 42.29% to their position. Up next is Bill Ackman. Now, Bill Ackman has been one of the most notable investors for years as knowing of a person that holds less than 10 stocks, super isolated risk, and holds very unique stocks at that. Hilton, Chipotle, QSR restaurant brands, Google, Howard Hughes, um, Canadian Pacific, Alphabet, Brookfield, Nike, you name it. What did he do over the last quarter? Well, he reduced his position in almost everything. He reduced his position in Hilton. He reduced his position in Chipotle, which I find is interesting because if you guys missed it on the channel, I just recently made a video about how Starbucks CEO, of course, got axed, and then the old Chipotle CEO got hired in by uh, Starbucks. So I think that that's interesting that in the same quarter, Bill Ackman, one of the most notable investors of Chipotle, reduces his position size. That's the largest reduction of any of his positions last quarter at almost 23%. I find that very interesting. Uh, he also got rid of Google. He got rid of a little bit of QSR, a little bit of CP, and more in Google. So Google and Chipotle were the biggest hits, and he added Nike, which I find interesting because I personally, little hidden nugget, I like Nike right now. Um, but he added Nike, which I find is interesting, and he added Brookfield. I don't own any Brookfield. But anyway, that is, of course, Bill Ackman. And then number three, what did Warren Buffett do? Well, I'm sure all of you guys by this point, if you haven't already, go look at the headlines. Everybody is talking about this. Uh, I've waited a couple days to kind of get all of this out. We all had the information at the same time, but every media uh, account, everybody was talking about the fact that Bill Gates, or excuse me, not Bill Gates, Warren Buffett reduced his position by 50% in Apple and really sounding the quote-unquote alarms as to what could that mean for the future. And so as you can see here, Apple was and is the most notable position in Warren Buffett's portfolio. 30% is its worth, but he reduced his position size by 50%, which is insane. Uh, one of the largest drops in position size that I've seen in quite some time from Warren Buffett, let alone any of uh, these, these super investors. He also got rid of some of Chevron. He added more Oxy. I've been, funny enough, talking about Oxy for quite some time, even on this channel. Oxy is sort of that hidden stock that a lot of people are not talking about that Warren Buffett is just loading up on. In fact, if you go on my uh, 
trading view chart here, you'll notice I have the quote unquote Warren Buffett zone. I've drawn this out. This is visually showing you every time the price gets on Oxy around 56 to 57 a share all the way into the um, high, high 50s to low 60s, Warren Buffett has added position on Oxy repetitively over and over and over and over again. You can take this information as you will. I find that this is interesting and he's continually done this. So you can see he is trying to gain control. Oops, wrong chart. He is trying to gain control on this. And he now has of his portfolio over 5% of his portfolio position is in Occidental Petroleum. Um, he also added a little bit to Chubb. He added a little bit to Liberty Series XM. I've been talking about this one as well recently on my social medias. And then he got rid of Capital One Financial, 21%. Got rid of T-Mobile. Got rid of Louisiana Pacific. Got rid of a little bit of Liberty uh, Series C, which is the live version. And then he got rid of uh, Floor & Decor. Uh, finally, he also got, got rid of Series A, a little bit of Liberty again. He didn't change anything else. His portfolio is much more mixed, much more diverse than the majority of people. I would never try to emulate Warren Buffett's strategy personally. I know a lot of people would look at this and say, well, why don't we just emulate it? I just simply wouldn't. I think you're going to have more uh, success because of your time constraints. you got to think, Warren Buffett has uh, more than 24 hours in a day. A lot of people don't understand what I'm saying there, but because of his analysts, because of the people that works for him, he has much more. He has thousands of hours a day to do research. And so for you to have a well-diversified portfolio like Warren Buffett, it's probably going to be better that you're dealing with low-cost index funds. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. You stayed till the end of the video. Now that you know what they're adding to, what they're reducing. This chart caught my eye. A lot of people are talking about it. This is the cash on hand for Warren Buffett's company, Berkshire Hathaway. How much cash or cash equivalent like in treasuries do they have? Right now they're sitting on $276.94 billion as of June. This was most recently updated. And when you guys look at this, what do you notice? The first thing that I hope you notice is as of recent, a massive incline in cash position. This is only going to get worse. This is only going to get higher because he's, of course, selling more aggressively his stock positions. Now, some people will argue the reason that he's doing this is preparing for the next massive collapse. That's the first argument. On the flip side, there's a secondary argument to this, and this is my argument. I'm not thinking and using this as an absolute indicator that he knows something we don't. At the end of the day, Warren Buffett is using the same indications, the same GDP reports, the same unemployment reports, the same economic data, both micro and macro, that all of you and I are using. So what do I think is happening? Well, first of all, just take a look at this chart. Has he been growing his cash position, yes or no, over the last 25 years? Absolutely. His cash position has slowly grown for the last 25 years and just more aggressively recently. But guess what? This is coming out of COVID. There's a lot of cash. That's number one. Number two, what I look at this is not necessarily, oh, my gosh, a massive crash is coming. I look at this as we have had just recently the highest interest rates that we have had in many, many years. And with high interest rates come what? high rates of interest on our treasuries. So you can buy one-year, five-year, 10-year treasury bonds and treasury bills at 5%, 4%, 5.5%, uh, and you can lock your rate of interest in on your cash with literally zero risk backed by the government. To me, what I see is he was taking advantage of a high interest environment. He said, I don't think my cash is as well safe and as well used in equities as lo any longer in his stock portfolio. And instead of him, quote unquote, predicting a recession coming, I think it's more so he's saying, I would rather have my cash guaranteeing myself 5% versus at risk to get maybe 8, 12, 15, 20% on an individual stock. Now, part of this, of course, you could say, well, if he doesn't think that he can get that return in the stock, then that does mean that he thinks something is happening. And I would agree with you. I think he believes that there's a correction coming. Do I think that he thinks there's a catastrophic collapse coming in the next two to three years? No. Do I think there might be a correction coming in the next two to three years? Or at least that's what he might be thinking? Yes. 
So I'm stating all of the facts, and as usual, guys, I'm sharing a little bit of my opinion. I think he's just simply putting his money in high interest, locked in environments and treasuries. But what I do think is that you now need to think about how does this help me? Maybe that helps me in understanding that maybe I better sit on some cash. Maybe there is a correction coming, at least a small correction coming. If the largest in the world are selling some of their most valuable things that they have in their portfolio, such as Warren Buffett with Apple, maybe he does see something coming. So you ought to be thinking about these sort of things. So I just wanted to share this video to show you an update of some of the most famous, wealthiest people on the planet, Bill Ackman, Bill Gates, and of course Warren Buffett. That is what they have done with their portfolio. That's a little bit of uh, cash position talk. And um, if you guys have missed it, I just shot a recent video on five things you need to do to, to weather the storm of the upcoming recession. If there is one, click that here. And of course, as always, guys, click that like button if you enjoy like videos like this. And of course, do not forget to subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next video.